some bush. So today, we go on the boat. We go. Maybe we'll just go for a walk first. So this is Kronos. He's the son of Tapota and Tekla. It's about 14 weeks right now. He's a rock star. He's been working with me off leash for quite a few weeks already. He's doing his leash work now. He's getting it really well. He's super personable. Excellent dog. One of the very best we've raised, this guy. He's really good. His, his whole ability is just stellar. He's got a really good nature, a nice personable nature to the handler. He's a good, solid boy, really well marked, really well. Uh, his confirmation is awesome. He's uh, out of two of the very best outcomes in North America today, so no doubt about that. Um, his lineage is a real good, solid hunting dog. And uh, this is a working outcome, so extremely good in the bush and very good around the handler it's all uh, his whole world is to be around the handler so it's excellent that way and he's mentally stable really a stable fella he's uh, about as good an elk hunt as you can find pretty well anywhere you'd have to travel to Norway and uh, you'd be lucky to find one as good as him right now he's, re he's really good uh, this is a good dog now this is a golden ring dog too so legend has it of course all the golden ring dogs they were highly sought after they were really some of the very best dogs of all and uh, we're doing uh, more of the leash work and the halter work now I'm trying to get him uh, geared up to go to his new home he's going to be leaving in a bit here a couple of weeks 
and uh, so we're getting all that sorted out. I don't do a lot of work on leash, but uh, we do, uh, in the Desmond program, we do get them set up for it. My goal with the Desmond program, of course, is to have him comfortable around the leash so that he knows that uh, it's there and it's all set and ready to go. You want to go some more, buddy? Come up here, buddy. Come up here. Let's get that set. Come here, boy. Come right here. Come by me right here, guys. Come over here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right, that's my boy, that's my boy, that's my boy, good, good boy, good, so that's turned to be a really good dog, uh, he'd be a real personable dog to the handler, uh, it's a great dog to work in the bush, good dog to take into any environment, he's stable, he's calm, now when you're looking at the ideal elk hound, this is, this is it. I mean, he's, uh, I don't know if we can see this real good here. Let's just move over a little bit more. You come here. That's right. That's my boy. That's my boy. What? 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 He's got the perfect confirmation, this dog. He's, he's so well balanced. It's not funny. He's, uh, his stride and his gait and all that. He's uh, a perfect little dog and he's only a few weeks old. He's got uh, such a great temperament that uh, it's hard to believe his his skills are so good, his personable nature. And it's uh, hard to find dogs like this stable anymore. The old dogs, the old lines we have, they're really stable dogs. <laughs> He's just my buddy, this guy. <laughs> You're my buddy, aren't you, buddy? Oh, that's for sure. Oh, that's, yeah, for sure, buddy. You want to go do it. You want to go do it. Yeah. You can stop anywhere in the bush. And he just comes right up. He's just like this all the time. He's a really good guy. This is what you want in a good hunting dog. You want a personable dog to the handler. Don't want a friendly to anybody else. And you sure want him able to handle the bears and stuff. And he can do all that. You know, right by He just like to get right by that. What a good boy. What a good boy. So yeah, we're working on some training, some leash work, but it's all pretty good. Let me see, let me see. Let me take this off. Good boy. Good boy. Can you just stay with me? Now on the on the good mountain dogs, I don't I don't use the leash too often. And I want him to stick around and be around the handler without it. I put the harness on so he knows that it's there, but Bottom line is, it's not a big deal for him. He don't care if it's on or off. And he'll hike with me day in and day out, with it or without it. Uh, we we just do it so that when the dog gets to the new home, the handler's got a little start going on. But uh, we can walk in and we'll go for that bit. Come here. Come Go for miles with him like that. He'll just cruise along with you. When I stop, he's going to show up. He might get a little ways ahead, might get a little ways behind, might go off the road a little ways, but bottom line is he's going to travel where I go. 
a dog like this will be with you your whole life. He lives his life just being around. He's just happy. He's content. He's a happy dog. Stable dogs, you see, make much better hiking companions. You don't get these goofy dogs that can't relax. These dogs, they can just sit and relax. Good, solid hunting dog, this guy. Now, you got to work on your recall while he's young. But, piece of cake. It's not hard to train. And working with him on leash or off leash. I mean, most of our work's off leash, as you can see. He's no big rock star on the leash yet, but he's not bad. But he's way better off leash, of course. Now, I got his brother Ripley down in the pen, and Max, and both of them are exactly the same. I got Mon and Luna as well. Same, uh, same litter, all of them here. And they're all the same. They all do the exact same work. And so they're all... It's hard to tell them apart, too. They all look the same. Mon is a little smaller, and Luna is a little smaller. These three boys are bigger, but uh, um, they're pretty well identical anyway. Only a pound or so difference between them all. So, well, buddy, should we get uh, over a bit of a hike? Good boy. So yeah, just to touch up on week 14 with the, the big rock stars. Stay, don't move. Oh, he might follow me. Good boy.